Is it like a continuation? Yeah, I had two chances. Musical entrance. <laughs> it was a question. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> influences, like I was saying, uh, anything like writers are going through like hard times in their life, or like um, even when they make up stories about like hypothetical situations, people are going through hard times. Uh, just makes for a good song, you know. Everyone can relate. Um, that's what influences me. That um, alcohol definitely influences me to write. Coming from the new song you just showed me. You're like, yeah. yeah, I got pretty drunk actually on accident. Yeah, but it came yeah. out really good. The working, <laughs> yeah, the working well, class. Well, that's the only way you could function. Yeah. The working yeah, class really kids that that work it. 12 hours a day, eight hours a day, whatever, at a you know little fucked up jobs working like Ross and stuff. We pretty much I write for them, you know. With your moms. You guys, God bless them. You guys with your the working stuff. man. <laughs> That's yeah. the country song. Yeah. God bless the working man. Yeah. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> what? Where is it? You know, I'm fucking on my hands and knees for the goddamn man. <laughs> Tiny does style, uh, by the way. I do flooring. It's it's good trade, but you know, you gotta cut out that middleman because you know they. You gotta be on the like I make, I'm paying for my boss's vacation right now. I'm still working. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's at the beach for five days, camping on the beach. I'm like, yeah, buying new tools out there. I was like, yeah, what the fuck are you doing there? Yeah, oh, cause you. yeah, cause you're taking my money. You know, it's all right. So yeah, these are the things that uh, the ideas that bring just together. Just inspire. I'm just yeah. venting. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, day. but pop music for some reason and country music. Like Lady Gaga, I don't know why. Speechless, this song. Speechless. Something about, about it. It's about me. Yeah. You know, I know the feeling. It's it's great. So I've been influenced by pop and country music lately. But I also like weird off the wall bands like Mars Volta and punk rock bands, No Effects, Mark Left I didn't really like them until I saw them. I actually went to go see them play with it. I think I think they were playing. I was pretty fucked up. <laughs> I went there and uh, they, I think they were playing with the Attics at the Wheelhouse. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. I went there, got all fucked up, didn't just ran in a mosh pit to try to have my buddy a beer as he's mosh and <laughs> took me out. Fucking he later slipped on the floor, smashed. Everybody his face, started started blurring. <laughs> I was fucked up. I had to. Trying to fucking break out of the fucking <laughs> concert because that was just a bad day. But <coughs> Johnny, hey, I've talked left with you. I've seen him. I've seen him a couple more times. <laughs> I never saw the ass. So. My all-time favorite band ever would have to be No Effects. Just don't know why, but they're one of my favorite bands. I've seen them live a crap load of times, and every time I've been to a show. The majority of them I've been kicked out or got injured by security trying to get on stage and grab that mic, but never, never happened. Yeah, all-time favorite band. Mm. So no. if anybody was at that show <laughs> trying to grab that mic, that was that guy who got kicked out and beat up by security. <coughs> yeah, that was it. Really went to that one on pretty much every show. Oh, I huh. can't forget about Bad Religion. They, they've been like the first punk rock band that I ever liked way back in like fucking third grade I started liking Bad Religion. I liked them ever since. The first tape I ever bought was Savage Garden. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really influence me at all now. <laughs> <laughs> Just a weird story. Cassette? Yeah. Oh yeah. Cassette tapes. Uh, My first cassette tape was uh, Three Doors Down, the one with Kryptonite on it. Yeah, that was great. That, that was, was like the only cover song I ever Second grade, I think. Third something. grade, maybe. When tapes were still around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wouldn't even watch that one. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to say Everclear. Everclear. Yeah, that's a great yeah. song. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so any exciting announcements for that? Yeah, we just recorded. Yeah, we did. We just recorded two new songs, and we're going to put it on the right. Your New Church. We recorded three songs? Well, well two and, and a half. Prelude. And then a surprise song. Yeah. A surprise. <laughs> <laughs> a song. Yeah. 
But we're gonna put it on the uh, Your New Church CD, and then uh, we're gonna release that as Your New Church. Hopefully, hopefully one day we'll uh, do that. We've had most of the songs for about a year, a year now. Mm -hmm. so we're working on it. Hopefully soon I'm gonna do a full length here. So uh, Jeff got the Brazilian blowout. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his hair. <laughs> Look at his hair. <laughs> All he does is wash it and blow it dry it and boom, <laughs> straight. <laughs> God Thank bless. you, John. See, for those who don't know, if you don't know, you can't afford it. Oh. Sounds yeah. like something sexual. Yeah, so I was going to try to... The Brazilian yeah. bra is nothing sexual. It's with your hair. It's like, like permanently straightens it for like a couple know, months. You should have it sexual. Well. It's ridiculous. I know I'm a girl. You know. Him? So no. You guys? No. Yeah, I worked exactly. at a fucking hair salon for a year and a half. I definitely got a Brazilian blood out of it. Still sounds sexual. Yeah, still sounds sexual. <laughs> yeah, I worked at a fucking salon. Sounds sexual. exotic. <laughs> oh, so it's something you gotta buy like a movie and popcorn, you know, then a movie to get. <laughs> <laughs>